up here at the Castle County Farm putting out corn. I got Katie with me. You can check her out back there. She's working real hard. Hey folks, Lee Howard here with 704 Outdoors. Uh, I want to show you an inexpensive way to set you up a deer feeder here. Uh, what I've got is a 55 gallon drum. I bought it for about eight bucks on Craigslist. Um, what I did was I cut a hole in the bottom of this thing, put about a four inch uh, reducer on it, put a, a 90 degree elbow on it, and about a, I guess it's about, I don't know, three foot worth of uh, four inch PVC pipe. I've also put about a 30 degree elbow on this thing to keep the corn from come, you know, gushing out of it. But anyway, it's a pretty good way to uh, feed deer, you know, you keep a lot of corn in it. And uh, I guess it holds about about four or five hundred pounds. You know, uh, I never really filled it to the max. So. But anyway, it's got a it's got a lid on it. It's got a locking mechanism you can put on this thing to keep the water out. But uh, anyway, I got my sidekick here. He's gonna throw some corn in it for me. Okay, folks, this is, uh, this is another inexpensive way to feed your deer. If you uh, if you like me and you don't want to spend a lot of money on these, you know, $100, $150 uh, feeders, what I've got here is uh, about a five, six inch corrugated pipe. And I've cut it about, I don't know, three and a half feet, four feet. And uh, what you do is you just fill it up with corn. And, and what I do is uh, my corn comes in burlap sacks. I usually, once I fill it up, I usually stuff the burlap sacks in the top and it you know it keeps the keeps the rain out of pretty this good. This is one more example of our homemade inexpensive deer feeders. We've got a five foot piece of PVC pipe connected with a 30 degree connector joint. We've got a cap on the bottom to keep the corn in, cap on the top to keep the rain out, and everything else gets to go in right here and eat. <laughs> 